In this episode of Film Stock Reviews, I'm reviewing The Guilty. The Guilty is directed by Antoine Fuqua and stars Jake Gyllenhaal. The screenplay is written by Nick Pozzolato. And this is a remake of the 2018 Danish movie of the same name. Now basically, Jake Gyllenhaal stars as LAPD officer Joe Baylor, who gets a call from a woman who's been abducted named Emily. Now over the course of the movie, we find out the ramifications of what Emily is going through and how Joe Baylor must help her at any cost while she's been abducted. Now not only that, something happened in Joe's career, so to speak, as an officer, an incident that occurred while he was on duty eight months prior. And while that's happening, we see that the anxiety builds in him as he's going through this call and he's reminiscing about what happened eight months before. We ourselves don't know what happened eight months prior to his character, but we are learning that over the course of the movie that he goes through these anxiety attacks, the people he calls to try and get information, they ask him what, how he's doing, what's going on, or you know, uh, or if there's an eyewitness or anything. We don't know what's exactly happening until the very end of the movie. But I do want to say this is one of the most craziest, intense, in-your-face, well-done movies I've ever seen that is just crazy. It also takes place during the California fires. And with everything happening, everything takes place at one setting, at the LAPD office. And it's just Jake Gyllenhaal in one room, and that's it. He's talking to people on the phone, and you don't see these people at all. You don't see who he's talking to, the voices that come in. We don't see a cutaway scene. It's just him. We see his anger, his anxiety, his his patience going away as he's trying to understand what's happening, even though while he's coping with what's going on in his you know career itself. Everything's happening for a reason. And when you find out the true nature of what's actually happening, who Emily is, why she's been abducted, what he's going through, what his story is. It's just so much that it's insane. I'm really surprised at how well this remake is. I actually didn't see the 2018 original movie, the Danish movie of the same name, but I will be checking it out because I'm curious to see how that movie played out compared to this remake. Now, Jake Gyllenhaal's performance as Joe Baylor was one of the best I've seen him do. Of course, this kind of reminds me of Nightcrawler that he did, which was another phenomenal movie that he starred in. But this is the opposite effect. He's on the side of the journalist, but in this movie he's on the side of the LAPD. But it's two different movies. But the anxiety, the claustrophobic feeling you get in this movie while you watch this movie is crazy. Your heart's pounding, your heart's racing. You feel the anxiety as he is taking his inhaler, as he's trying to breathe. But the emotion is just so crazy and it's really really interesting the action scenes they're not really much action scenes because the action scenes are you playing them in your head as he's taking these calls in it's really really phenomenal the movie comes in at an even 90 minutes so it's an hour and a half movie it's quick it's one setting it's one actor Jake Gyllenhaal and there's other supporting actors and characters and there are other actors in this movie whose voices might sound familiar I don't want to give away who they are because if you look it up you'll be very very surprised I didn't know who they were they sounded familiar but then I didn't know who they were until I looked up who the cast was in this movie it's a really well done movie Jake Gyllenhaal did a great performance. Antoine Fuqua as a director is really picking great scripts to direct. I'm curious to see what he does next for directing. And seeing Jake Gyllenhaal play a role like this is crazy. This is a crime thriller genre movie. And up the ante on thriller. So much, not so much crime because not much crime happens except the calls that you hear like someone gets robbed or something happens, this and that. But it's really interesting. And even the characters on the phone give such great performances by just their voice acting. This is a movie you have to see. This is a movie you have to check out. And it's probably the most underrated movie of 2021. I love the way it was made. I love the one setting. And everything happens in one night. I always do love movies like that. Jake Gyllenhaal gave a great performance. And for me, The Guilty gets five out of five stars. So let me know in the comment section below what you thought about The Guilty. Did you like it? Did you not like it? What did you think of it? And will you be checking it out now that I reviewed it? And let me know also in the comment section below what other Jake Gyllenhaal films are your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys in the next review video.